Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is Wednesday. It is hum day. I hope that you are having an amazing, beautiful, beautiful day. Um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so you know that shit is about to go down. I mean, I want to know, honestly, like, what are your... Not your recipes, but like, what is your menu? Your menu for Thanksgivings, if you are in America, and if you celebrate Thanksgivings, you know. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, I'm gonna be like, how you say, marinating my turkey from today, and then so tomorrow I can like cook all day and like being very like. Tomorrow I'm going to be just like making magic happen <laughs> so stay tuned because i know that tomorrow i'm probably gonna be giving you like a lot of um cooking tea you know what i mean um i welcome every single one of you i hope that you are having an amazing beautiful day if you are new here well welcome to the beverly troop where we spill the tea 365 days a year no matter where i am no matter what i'm doing i got you guys and we keep it real uh, so if you are new here, subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell. So um, I know that I, I'm not on my, like, uh, setup, you know, but the thing is I'm starting to get ready my house, my, well, my, my, my place for um, Thanksgiving, and it is kind of like a mess. So I think the next couple of days, like, don't be surprised if I'm doing, like, a lot of videos, like, here on my living room or on my car or, like, from everywhere that I am because... It's going to be a busy week, you know? All right, guys. So I have some cold, cold iced tea coming from the cold mountains of Salt Lake City because it is time to talk about the reunion of the Real Housewife of Salt Lake City. Girl, I already got you some tea. Juicy, juicy tea, okay? So uh, the reunion was filmed on Tuesday. Yeah, it was filmed on Tuesday, okay? Um, we already got the chart, you know, of the seating arrangement, and we know that Monica Garcia snatched the first, uh, the first seat, you know, next to Andy on one side, you know. Um, I look. I'm starting to feel some kind of like toxic vibe. From the fandom of Salt Lake City as I do with New Jersey, you know. So a lot of people who are standing Monica Garcia, which I do not understand for the life of me, how you and your how these people and these people values can align with the ones with Monica Garcia, you know. I, I do not understand. I'm sorry, you know. So um I just I just I cannot um I cannot support a person who is so thirsty and, and dramatic and, you know, and who who is so clearly playing a part for the show. Don't get me wrong. You know me. I love mess. I love, you know, uh, drama. And I, that's what I watch these shows. But I love real drama. You know, I do not like Thirsty Housewives who is starting the show and who think that they giving that what we want to watch, you know, and that's the difference between a real fan and, you know, uh, just whatever other fan out there. Because at some point, if you have been watching these shows for a very long time, you should be able to spot a fake. You know, and to me, Monica is a fake. You know, the disrespect, the dis that being disrespectful to her mom, the uh, bragging about having an affair with his brother-in-law, uh, the stealing from Heather Gay and allegedly Lisa Barlow. The you know, the, the list goes on and on of how shady this girl is. So I'm just not gonna be able to stand it. However, you know that this is an open channel. So if you stand that girl. I don't really care. You know, you can leave your comments, initiate conversation, because that's what we do over here, right? So uh, she snatched the first seat, which means that, of course, she was the one, one of the ones who, who had the most amount of drama during the season, right? 
Uh, this seat has only been snatched by 10 other uh, Real Housewives, you know, in the history of Real Housewives. So uh, I'm just going to say, like, it's, go it's going to be intense. Now, surprisingly, on the other side, I thought that Lisa Barlow was going to be on the first seat because she had so much drama with Monica, right? But actually, it's going to be Heather Gay. And that's something that we were not expecting, but, well, many of you guys who does know, like, what is happening on Salt Lake City. But what I can tell you is that there is so much drama about to be exposed on the show that is going to show us why Heather got that first seat, okay? So on one side, we have um, Monica Garcia, Meredith Marks, and Whitney Rose. And on the other side, we have... Um, <clears throat> Heather Gay, Lisa Barlow, Angie Katzenevas, and at some point, Mary Cosby will be joining their reunion as a friend of the show, you know? There was rumors going around saying that Jane Show was going to appear on Zoom. That's fake. Do not believe it, all right? And um, one person that I do not understand why was not invited to the reunion to do, a, 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 like, a little cameo is actually Monica Garcia's mom. And I'm going to tell you why. Monica think that it has been so okay with dragging her mom and humiliate her on national and international TV. Bravo has been very happy with dragging, you know, uh, Monica's mom everywhere, you know, through the mud. And now they're not going to give her a voice. Why? Are you afraid that Monica's mom actually is going to show up with some receipts with the truth, you know? So, um, and that's exactly what Monica's mom said out there on, on X. You know, she said that she was not invited because she knows too much and that she can actually show receipts. So there you have it, you know, and again, Bravo protecting people who should not be protected. Now, what I can tell you is that the reunion was extremely long. They filmed all day long and it was dramatic AF. Okay. Uh, for what I heard, there was a lot of screaming, a lot of fighting, a lot of name calling, a lot of derogatory situations, humiliation. It was bad, you know, it was bad. And I will not be surprised if Bravo decide to do a three part reunion from this um, from this whole filming day. You know, we will know we, we will we will not know until we get there. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do a three-part reunion, okay? <clears throat> uh, there was definitely a shift on certain relationships, you know. Lisa Barlow is getting more con more and more connected with Heather Gay, which has been a big surprise. And also, Lisa Barlow has been ready to call out Angie Katzenevas and Whitney Rose for being fake and not a good friend. OK, which is going to be interesting. I don't know how the relationships are going to be shifting, but it's definitely is definitely going to rub a lot of feathers. So be prepared because a lot of the things that you think you know about Salt Lake City are about to change. Um, Monica got checked several times. Uh, Monica is the kind of girl that she likes to scream and she thinks that by screaming she's winning. And I can tell you that a lot of the girls were like, oh, you like to scream? Well, I can scream louder. So it's going to be insane. And the coin said that this reunion is going to be crazy. And I, I believe everything that daddy has to say, you know. So um, that's pretty much everything that we know so far. I will let you know as soon as we know more. And let me know what you guys think. Are you ready for this reunion? Are you ready for a three-part reunion? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.